Hello everybody. It was so good to hear from so many of my friends yesterday. So I thought I would share another book today. This book is called On the Night You Were Born and it's by Nancy Tillman. And she is the author and she's also the illustrator. So it's a very special book. And I want you to think of this book as a great big hug coming from me to you and your whole family. All right, to prepare for this book, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about what makes you special. I want you to think about every curl, every eyelash, every little toe and little nose. And I want you to know when you look in that mirror and you see all those beautiful parts that God created, that you were made exactly the way you were meant to be. With every little part of you special and no one, no one is exactly like you. So I want you to listen to the story and then at the end, I'm gonna have a, a, something for you to think about. Okay, On the Night You Were Born by Nancy Tillman. On the night you were born, the moon smiled with such wonder that the stars peeked in to see you and the night wind whispered, life will never be the same because there had never been anyone like you ever in the world. So enchanted with you were the wind and the rain that they whispered the sound of your wonderful name. The sound of your name is a magical one. Let's say it out loud before we go on. You stop and say your name. It sailed through the farmland high on the breeze. Who in the world is exactly like you? over the ocean through the trees until everyone heard it and everyone knew of the one and only ever you Not once had there been such eyes, such a nose, such silly, wiggly, wonderful toes. In fact, I think I'll count to three. So you can wiggle your toes for me. One, two, three. When the polar bears heard, they danced until dawn. Far away places, the geese flew home. The moon stayed up until the morning next day. And none of the ladybugs flew away. So whenever you doubt just how special you are and wonder who loves you, how much and how far, listen for the geese honking high in the sky. They're singing a song to remember you by. Or notice the bears asleep at the zoo. It's because they've been dancing all night just for you. Or drift off to sleep to the sound of the wind. Listen closely, it's whispering your name again. Do you hear it? If the moon stays up until the morning one day or a ladybug lands and decides to stay or a little bird sits at your window a while it's because they're all hoping to see you smile. For never before in a story or rhyme, not even once upon a time, has the world ever known a you, my friend, and it never will, not ever again. Heaven blew every trumpet and played every horn on the wonderful, marvelous night you were born. So 
As your family is spending more time outside and being together in the beauty of nature, I want you to look for signs all around you, like the signs that were in this book. Maybe it's a ladybug on a leaf. Maybe it's a group of geese flying high in the sky. Maybe it is a bright flower just shooting straight out of the ground. And as you see all those beautiful things in nature, I want you to remember the hope that God brings us. All these little signs of new life and beauty in nature, it reminds us that God is all around us and God is with us and how much God loves us. And when you see all those little signs, I want you to remember how special and unique you are. Can you, if you're a little one, can you get a piece of paper out and you can draw when you're on a walk and you return, can you draw something beautiful in nature that you saw that reminds you of the hope and the wonder and the special parts of the world? And if you're an older student, can you draw a picture or can you write about what makes you special? Can you make a list or can you create a poem that's just about special, about special you? So those are some things and listen, I'm so glad to see everyone today and I can't wait to share a story with you tomorrow. So see you again soon, bye.